Hi, thanks for joining me. This is just a little demo of the pom-pom stitch that occurs at the bottom of the Mindy border, which is um, on my newest halter top design and also on the Mindy halter top crochet design. Um, and it's a little bit of a unique stitch, so I just wanted to get it on camera. Um, you can see it makes this little ball at the top of these chains. And this little ball is made of two clusters of three double crochets each, plus the beginning chains for those. And it just makes this nice little textural pom-pom detail. And this is worked across the bottom on a series of um, chain stitches, chain loops. So I'll just go ahead and start off. It starts at the beginning here. You can see I've already worked a few repeats, but the repeat starts with, get my yarn sorted out. The repeat starts with seven chain stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And those seven stitches are the first five chains, one, two, three, four, five, and then two at the top, which are going to become part of the pom-pom stitch. So in that second chain from the hook, I'm going to yarn over, insert the hook, draw up a loop, and then I'm going to yarn over and draw up another loop through the last two loops on the hook. That's the first double crochet with the last loop left on the hook. And we're going to do that two more times. So yarn over, insert, draw up a loop, draw through two loops on the hook. So there's our second double crochet with last loop left on the hook. And one more time, yarn over, insert hook, draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops. So we now have three double crochets on the hook with the last loops left on the hook. And to finish all these off at once and complete our first cluster, yarn over, draw through all loops on the hook. To get our second half of the pom-pom, we're going to chain two to gain height. And in this last, this top loop here, we're going to do the same cluster over again. So yarn over, insert hook, draw up a loop, draw through two loops. Yarn over, insert hook, draw up a loop, draw through two loops. And now a third time. so that we have these three double crochets on the hook with the last loop left on the hook. And we draw through one loop through all of those loops. So we have these two clusters now at the top, one on top of the other. We're just gonna fold these down and connect them by doing a slip stitch in this bottom part of the first cluster. So here we go. I'm going to actually go into this chain on this side because I think it looks nicer than going into this looser loop on the opposite side. So I'm just going to bring my hook down and I'm going to kind of flip it to work into that chain on this side and insert my hook there and then do a slip stitch. And then that connects those two clusters into this little round ball. There's a little bit of a gap you can see in there. Um, blocking helps round this out and even it out. So I do recommend wet blocking this trim. But once we're done with that pom-pom stitch, we just chain five more. So one, two, three, four, five to match the other side. And we're going to finish off this little loop by slip stitching in the third treble of the next petal. Slip and slip. 
and that is the repeat for the pom-pom part of the Mindy border trim.